Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to our channel. I'm going to give you a completely different viewpoint about the unemployment scenario in our country because this episode is going to be based on an article from the conservative news outlet The Wall Street Journal and I want to present all perspectives on our channel because I do think that we move forward as a country when we listen to both sides the conservative side and the liberal side welcome to our channel everyone my name is dr nitin choda with ignition time this right here is a little bit of information about me you'll learn more about who i am what my journey has been like and why you should listen to me check it out i hope you learn something new i have the fortune the honor the privilege of living the american dream because i was able to overcome the cycle of poverty that you see on your screen right now so what what does every single american need to escape the cycle of poverty every single american needs a job or at least a way to earn an income through their own business here's an article on your screen from the wall street journal jobs are hard to fill and ideology makes it hard to understand why there are millions of us vacancies as the pandemic eases but the reasons are more complicated than what those with a partisan agenda claim so what is the wall street journal actually trying to say again let's hear from both sides not just outlets like cnn and the washington post but i think it's also important to pay attention to conservative news media like fox news and the wall street journal because i think the truth hides in the shadows remember this channel the ignition time channel is about the country the economy as well as our money let me quote directly from the wall street journal the problem is not a lack of jobs some of the more popular explanations are that enhanced and extended unemployment benefits have reduced recipients incentives to look for work and their ongoing difficulties obtaining childcare have discouraged many women in particular from returning to work and this is another important quote from the wall street journal arguments blaming one or the other fall along predictable ideological lines but there is evidence that both are indeed playing a role on the job market more than one thing can be true about the job market at once and considering the unusual set of circumstances the pandemic brought about other factors may be contributing to hiring difficulties too now according to the job search site indeed they actually found that among unemployed job seekers who said they are not urgently looking for work the biggest hurdle was safety continued concerns about the pandemic now in addition in addition to having to care for children or having to care for other seniors in the household and in addition to having unemployment benefits a lot of people said that their spouses were employed and they had some financial cushion whether it was through stimulus checks or unemployment benefits because their spouse was making money and because they had a financial cushion they were less likely to look for jobs in fact according to the harvard economist lawrence katz there are other factors that could be at play one is that many employers might want things to go back to the way they were before the pandemic while many workers may have something else in mind it's a mismatch of expectations and aspirations according to the harvard economist now think about this folks the employer might think hey i want the employee to come back to work but the employee is thinking no 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 I have something else in mind maybe I want to switch careers maybe I want a different job maybe I want to work from home maybe I want to start my own business so a lot of people have actually reevaluated their priorities as a direct result of this pandemic I have done another video on our channel where I talked about the great resignation how the unemployment benefits system needed to change and more importantly how the entire job market was expected to change forever in the United States of America. A lot of people are reevaluating their options. They're saying, "Hey, I don't want to go back to the same old job. I want a new job. I potentially want to start my own business. I want to go back and learn new skills so that I can finally do what I was meant to do. I don't want to go back into the same old industry whether it's travel, leisure, entertainment or hospitality. I want to be able to do something new." I want to be able to do something that I enjoy, something I've always dreamt of doing. I want to be able to pursue my own passions, my own desires. Folks, it's very obvious that the pandemic has been extremely traumatic for millions of our fellow Americans and the truth is many of us just need time to figure stuff out before we go back looking for jobs, before we go back to our old employers. Some of us may simply be exhausted 
and we may just want to take a break before we decide to get back into the job market. The fact is there are a lot of job openings out there and in a very strange way, this can actually discourage people from applying according to the Wall Street Journal. And in fact, I'll quote the Wall Street Journal. Just knowing that there are a lot of job openings out there could discourage some people from searching too hard. The easy pickings seem likely to continue. The Wall Street Journal also points out that there could be some geographical mismatches between the places where businesses are hiring and places where the unemployed used to work. Some of these could occur across state lines, but within a certain geographical region. For example, many offices could still be closed. Restaurants in business districts could still be suffering. And those in more residential areas could be booming. Those jobs in residential areas could be booming as people try and make up for lost time and lost meals by essentially going back to offices and going back to restaurants. Also, also reallocating downtown restaurant workers into those new jobs could take some time. What is the bottom line, folks? The bottom line is that different employers and different regions are hiring at different rates. And just because an employer wants to fill up an open position does not mean that employees in that region are looking to come back to work. Maybe employees have relocated. Maybe staff members have decided that they want to do something different. Now, there could also be some issues in terms of measuring all the data because the pandemic has essentially turned all traditional measures upside down. And some economists believe that even if the job market is strong and continues to be strong, the fact that the school year has just begun could lead to more people staying at home wanting to take care of their children. Now, the good news is that things can only get better from here. A lot of schools are reopening. I have a six-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. My two-year-old goes to daycare and my six-year-old just started, just started uh, first grade. And fortunately, my son is back in school and he doesn't have to do, he doesn't have to do remote learning or virtual learning. But the fact is all of these childcare factors play a role in parents making a decision about whether they want to get back to work or not. When it comes to things that would encourage individuals to get back to work, increased vaccinations also played an important role. In other words, in regions or in states where vaccinations were higher than the national average, those regions and those states and those individuals are more likely to get back to work. But at the end of the day, this is a complex subject. A lot of things have essentially changed. Many, many lives have been turned, millions of lives have been turned upside down. And in the end, I believe that while things will return to normal eventually, it's going to take some time to get back to the normal. And in fact, we don't even know what the new normal is. Please click the like button. Please click subscribe. Please enable notifications. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time once again. This right here is my Twitter feed. Follow me on Twitter. You'll be able to keep up with all the latest news stories on Twitter. And our Twitter handle is Ignition underscore time. Thank you so much. Once again, please click like. Please click subscribe. Please enable notifications. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.